When you enter your enlarging station, make sure that your items are with you, uh, ready for your photogram. So I brought my items. I have this roll of tape. I have some clear um, plastic and I have two pieces of torn construction paper. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that my dial is turned all the way counterclockwise under my casing, my um, lamp housing, and I'm going to make sure that my light is nice and bright by turning on the focus button. Once it is, I can turn it back off. Then I'm going to come over and grab my paper out of my light safe box, which will be located on top of the refrigerator. So I'm just going to slide my hand in and grab a piece of paper out very carefully, make sure that it's shut when I'm done, and put my paper in the center of where my enlarger light was shining. Um, I'll arrange my objects where I want them to belong on my, my photogram. So I'm just kind of organizing them here, thinking about how the light will project through them. And then I'm going to set my timer for five seconds. So right now I'm changing it by pushing the button down, I'm changing it from nine to five. Um, and then once I'm at five seconds, I can go ahead and push the button on my, my timer for the the light to automatically turn on for five seconds, it will turn back off, and now my, my photogram has been developed. So I'll take all of my objects off, set them aside, and I'll take my photo paper over to the developing. So the sink on the other side of the room has my three trays of my chemicals. The first one is developer. So I'm going to slide my image down into the chemicals and just gently tap it with the tongs to make sure it's submerged completely. And then I'm going to do what's called agitating. So I need to constantly shake my tray gently. Um, so I'm just using the tips of my fingers to move it. And I'm going to do that for 60 to 90 seconds. This forces the chemicals to wash over your photo paper, giving your developing of your image um, a nice sort of even result rather than leaving lines or, or funny edges where the chemicals were resting for too long. So you need this, this agitation is um, necessary when you are developing your images. So now I'll use my tongs, um, same exact ones, to remove my image and place it into the next tray, which is called the stop bath. I'm going to put the developer tongs back next to the developer tray so they don't contaminate the stop bath. And I'll use the next set of tongs to again submerge my image and I'll agitate for 30 seconds. So this one's kind of quick. Once I've agitated for 30 seconds, ensuring that it's underneath and submerged within the chemicals, I'll use my stop bath tongs and transfer my image over to what's called the fixer. So the developer develops their image and makes it appear. The stop bath stops the developing. And then finally, the fixer is what fixes your image and makes it light safe so it uh, won't turn yellow after it's been sitting out in, in the light for a while. In the fixer, I need to agitate for 120 seconds. Um, you can use the clock that's up on the wall to my right in this video or you can just count each time you wiggle the tray. So that's what I do. I just count each time my fingers move the tray. Um, you can see I'm constantly agitating. So I'm counting to 120 here to ensure that the fixer is completely sealing my image and making it light safe um, for the room. Once I'm done, I'll take my tongs, move my image over to the water wash, and it should stay in the water wash for five to 10 minutes. I'm not going to leave mine in there for that long, just for the sake of the video, um, but just let it rest in there. Many people can put theirs in there at the same time. The water will be washing over it. Then when it's been in there for five or 10 minutes, your image is developed. Um, it's light safe, it's ready to go, and you can take it out of the room into the dryer.